What's up guys? I wanted to take a minute in this video to talk to you about the Snyder power meters and why I always say if you're going to install a power meter, want, you want to make sure that you install one that you can put directly on your network. Now, there's a lot of power meters coming out these days that are literally they have network communications directly on them and I would highly suggest you utilize them as part of your building automation system. Now one of the things that I want to show you about this meter in particularly uh, whenever you're going in and setting this up this is something that I just figured out working with our folks from IT and we were able to get this online but I wanted to show it to you guys. Uh, the way that you would set these up for your networking info you're going to go into maintenance and then of course you're going to go in to your setup screen of course it's going to ask you for your password here so I'm going to go ahead and hit that and jump right back into the video okay now the next screen it has the options for communication and that's what I want so I'm going to click on communication and this one here this uh, Ethernet is what we're looking for here so I'm going to go into that for this particular meter, the IP method is boot P, which is an older form of DHCP. When we first started trying to get this meter online, we set it up for DHCP enable, and we were not able to get this to communicate. It would not pull the IP address that we needed for the system. You can go in and manually enter an IP address and all of that sort of thing, but it's a good idea working with your networking folks to do a MAC ID reservation for an IP address. That way if something happens, it will get reassigned that particular IP address. You know, and there again, it depends on the size of your overall work network. But once you set it up to boot TP, it pulled the correct IP address, and I'm going to show you on the screen what we have now. Here is the meter. I'm seeing live data right on my screen. You can see all of the values and everything. And there again, guys, I am just browsed to this connected to our network. You know, I'm just literally on our Wi-Fi, the way that we have things set up around here. Uh, but I can go in and, you know, see all of the data right here on this. But for our purposes, I can also pull this directly into Metasys. You can see here, I do have my all my points here. And there again, guys, I just installed an integration on the network engine. And it is, you know, from there, I just basically discovered the points. Uh, you know, I've got another video where I talk a little bit about that. I'll leave a card to it up here in the corner to where you guys can go check it out. But that is something that I wanted to point out on these. Uh, again, guys, use the network where you can. It makes your job much easier. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Just leave those in the comments. Leave me a comment down below. Check out all the links down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.